hope that's my default. Bam. Okay. All right, so now we can hear me. And I was saying earlier, I don't have my mods, the new mods for the ninja skins, which makes me really, really, really sad. But it is what it is. Phone keep disconnecting. There. No more. No more disconnects now. Okay. Keeps bothering me. I might have to just disconnect my phone. Alright. I think that's good. Yeah, let's get the combat leak. Ugh. Oh, come on. here well, I hope I don't lose this one sub-zero Honey. Oh, shush. My cell phone. That's an anti air if I ever saw one. Yep. Good thing I can wave, Josh. Coming a mile away. Okay. That actually doesn't help a lot. gonna die from here no nope, not yet now he is man scorpion can pressure for days man. hang on lady nitro just message lady nitro is actually supposed to be at the spa but lady nitro just got back because she said that it got booked i don't know i guess that's how the city folk are they book fully book on a sunday night at the spa Could be an intern. <laughs> Sorry to hear, Lady Nitro. Hey, what's up, Moonrunners? Welcome to stream, my ninja, and happy birthday. Oh, 
3 p.m. Oh crap, I messed up. But anyways, I lay Nitro's back, and I'm just here playing some um, Mortal Kombat. I didn't mean to do the last hit, but all right. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're having a happy birthday, Moon Runners. I had to scratch my face. Size 16 shoe. That's what he can. That's the best he can do. These kids and their tic tacs. Ooh, he was trying to punish that, but he was way too late. You gotta punish that with a slide, homie. That's punishable. Why didn't I... Wow, he went double down one. I should have just down one him to punish that. No! trying to do man that's <laughs> wow oh my god the timer almost ran out man, I got lucky I wasn't watching the timer Well, good thing I didn't lose that one because if I did, then well, I lose my uh, demigod ring. Scorpion wins. Oh, he could have gone to grandmaster ranking. He probably deserves to be grandmaster ranking, but to be matched up with a demigod, it's you know, it's kind of unfair. The matchmaking in Mortal Kombat still like sucks to this day. These kids in there take action. <laughs> These tic taggers don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh, also, guys, if there's anything like funky with the audio or anything like that, please let me know. Because, like, sometimes, like, I guess sometimes you guys don't really, like, you know, it doesn't bother you guys, so therefore you just let it be. And then when I rewatch the stream, I find out that, like, the audio was, like, super bad, so, like, ugh. Hey, what's up, John? Welcome to the stream, my ninja. I got the shock of my life. I was happy and I was glad it was not early five-star character I want. Uh, it gave me Tainari, C1, and Dory, C4. My niece also gets an impact, but I wish she used my 10 wishes at the PS4. Nice, nice. So that means that you are guaranteed for Arlequino next pool, John. So congratulations. And congratulations on getting a C1 Tainari. Huh. Round one, fight. Happy to hear, man. Oh, I remember this player. He's laggy as hell, man. Oh, I didn't duck. In, I didn't duck long enough. Jeez. Damn it. Yeah, luckily I didn't keep it on my regret it. That's not how it works, John. Meaning, saying that you're lucky you, you didn't uh, spend your um, wishes because uh, you got this, that we don't know that. You don't know that for sure. Who knows, maybe you would have gotten lucky with Arlequino. Right now, you're, it's more like you're lucky that you did lose the 50-50s. Um, the therefore, you are able to get, you know, are able to get uh, your guaranteed 5-star when Arlequino comes out. So this is more of luck, not because you chose the right decision.
freaking. There we go. Freaking hate Shang Tsung, man. What the frick? Now you're saving all your wishes for her? Alright, do that, man. Definitely, uh, you know, good luck with the, with the grind. Because we're all preparing for her. Plus, we have, we, all, we have literally a month to do so. Okay, I, I got it. By the way, they say Farina rerun has been delayed. They bring back one of the three siblings. Well, yeah, because most of the time, yeah, the Archon is going to be, you know, a uh, rerun on 4.6. However, I guess they wanted to keep the, tr uh, keep the theme going that it's Arlecchino, the House of Hearts. So there's going to be... Um, Linny might be the second one uh, during that phase. It's for you know to keep the theme, but again, we, we don't know, you know. But we'll see. I'm now collecting more orders and Fatui emblem. Makes sense. I mean, that is you know what our you know does use. Man, I really hate that. I, I hate Shang Tsung strings, man. It's so good. Of course, the one time. And he did a Chicago punish. Just gonna do fatal blow so I can get that damage going. But yeah, the pre-farming is beginning for our Lakina. We have until April 24th. What's up, Je uh, Jella? Welcome to the stream, my ninja. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you, my ninja? Yes, you are, my ninja, Lady Nitro. Son of a mother goose! Well, there goes my fatal blow. I hate Sang Sung's down three, man. It's such a cancerous button. And of course the punish, the full screen punish. Wanna play first to three? Uh yeah, okay, we definitely could do a first to three. Man. Oh my god. There we go. Ah! Freaking sector. Ah. Freak. Yesterday I was doing part time work and I got food coma, but luckily I ate a pill to stop the effect of it. Um, John, there's no such thing as a pill that stops food coma. I mean, maybe there's something that wakes you up, but that's not how food coma works. And food coma is not an actual, um, it's not a, a medical condition. It's, it's just a slang that we say that we get so full that our insulin levels spike up that we get sleepy. That's what it is. Food coma is not a, it's not a diagnosis and there's no pill for that. <laughs> I mean, if, if you took something to help wake you up, then that makes sense. But there's nothing that stops food coma because food coma doesn't, it's not a real medical thing. Oh crap.
I hate that uh, kick so much. Oh my god. Ah! It did wake up early today because I was supposed to help my dad in making my breakfast for family. When you... I'm, I'm just gonna leave it there, John, because right now it, it, it's kind of not adding up right now, to be honest. Yes. Okay. Never mind. Did you see Guilty Gear Strive announcement? Yes, I did because I watched the Guilty Gear uh, Arc uh, Arc World Tour tournament uh, Grand Finals. That um, Guilty Gear is going to have a season four, which is really good. But again, season four is great. But I want to know who's the last uh, DLC for season three first. It, it, it's the whole let's let's finish the current season before we talk about the next season. I I told you that before, John. We, we talk about what's current before we talk about what's the future. Abba from Guilty Gear uh, X, uh, XX plus Accent Core makes a return, then Slayer teaser trailer. Um, John, you do know Abba's already been out like for a couple of days now. So that, that announcement's actually really, really, really old. And um, the trailer you're talking about, that's that's been talked about already. What I was talking about, the announcement is that season four is going to come. But the whole Abba thing, I, I, I know Abba is in the game because I, 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 I'm, I played against it. I played against her. And I hate Shang Tsung. Slayer has been confirmed as the last DLC for season three. Well, yes, that's what a teaser is for. Teaser is to show that this character is going to be next. That, that's what a teaser means. It's it's not like, guys, there's an announcement. It's confirmed. It's it's obvious that it's going to be Slayer, and what's what we're waiting for. So, literally all the stuff that we saw there, it, all those people who saw it at the tournament themselves, you know, and including me because I watch the tournament live. You know, we all know that's. That, that's what the announcements are so that that's there <laughs> and yes Jill I am ready um, yeah uh, I are you online oh wait I have to go to social no I don't have to go to social I have to just have to go uh, private it just shows that you're not online yet that's why I guess I'll just wait I'm still waiting for Venom to make a comeback. Venom could definitely be in season four. It's possible. Uh, the, the fact that there's a season four going to come out, there's definitely a possibility. Venom, I would like Answer to be back in the game so I can have a second ninja besides uh, Chip. You know, Answer, Jam. Not that kind of Chip Lady Nitro. Uh, funny enough, there is a mod that gives um, that gives uh, Chip Chip Skylar colors. Yeah, but like, um, yeah, Jam definitely got to be in the game. Yeah, Venom would be nice. Could I wonder if Raven would make it back? Raven would be an interesting character to come back. Uh, Hyun would be an interesting character as well. Um, who else? If they ever bring back Holy Order Saul, you know, that'd be so sick. It'd be absolutely sick. Smoke. Uh. Who else would be good to come back? I would like new characters, you know, to be in the game. That'd be also as good. The fact that we got that man, uh, Happy Chaos, 
Gold Lewis, they were definitely good additions to the team. Uh, uh, Geo, definitely, she was definitely a good character to come back. Okay. It's a little stuttery. Is that I doubt answer will make it back. Uh, may it be just like the one I'd Samurai would. You mean Biken? Biken's been in the game for like a very long time already. I, I don't know what you're talking about there, man. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, the fact they brought Abba back into the game, that just goes to show that any character is possible to come out because first everybody thought only characters from Guilty Gear like x -Hard would come back, but look, we got people from uh, Axe and Korka coming back. Uh, Anji came back to the game. You know, that's something. Uh, I guess the million's out of commission. What the heck? My inputs are getting eaten. Okay, I have no idea why it's getting super kind of laggy right now. It's just not good right now. Wait, what? What? Oh, I can't even do. None of my inputs are coming out. Oh my god, I don't know right now. <laughs> But yeah, like, Biken's in the game, like, been in the game for quite some time. What, if, what the F is the lag round? I, I really don't know, Jello. I, maybe it's just one of those days today. I, I really don't know. I mean, our connection was better before. I, I don't know what's going on right now, to be honest. Guilty Gear remains are Faust, Johnny, and Venom. Cool. What? What? I, 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 I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is so bad right now. I, I can't even get my full combo going. I don't know. Uh, I'll just be whatever with this right now. I can't even right now. I just can't. It, it's so stuttery right now. It's really, really bad right now. We don't know. It, it could. We don't know whose end it is on right now. And right now, it's so slow right now. I, I, I don't know.
I'm not gonna be able to play smoke properly with this. Everything's stuttering on my end. I can't even tell who, who's moving or whatnot. And inputs are getting eaten so hard right now. Oh well, that's what it is. Sorry for the lag, but I'm wired. I, I don't know. It's nobody's fault right now, Jello. It's just the way it is right now. See, I, I can't even do my inputs correct. I don't know. I'm doing random smoke bombs even. See, I didn't even see the glaive come. So I, I don't know right now. It's just it just doesn't seem like a good day right now. See, I can't even get a simple string out. See, that's not even what I wanted to do. I, I can't, I can't. Okay, shoot. It's like, I'm sure season four might have one of our characters, Nick. Like, mine is Venom, yours for answer or gem. I, I, I don't like gem myself. <laughs> I'm just saying gem. Jam is a, a fan favorite, you know, that's why she deserves to be. I'm talking about fan favorites, you know. Jam Karadaberry definitely is a character that's been requested for so long, you know. Just like Slayer and things like that. And whatnot. Answer, I, I would like Answer because, you know, he's a ninja, but my main is already Chip, so I, that's why I'm not really asking for anybody else. Everybody else in the game is literally just a bonus for me. We're over a hundred. Hundred time for even. And yeah, I, I, I can't even do anything right now. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, it's what it is. All right, back to Scorpion Combat League. Like for me, the the reason why I like season four for um, Guilty Gear is showing that the game is still very much alive, very much in development. There's definitely gonna be new stuff. Chip may even get a new move in the future. That's why I'm happy for season four because the game is still gonna keep on going. And good, I'm 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 happy for Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear is one of those games that it's a really good game. Yeah, I honestly I if it came down to it, I prefer Guilty Gear over Street Fighter Six, like 100%. I don't want to say GG's because this lag wasn't it at all. I, I know, Jello. I'm, it, maybe it's just one, one of those days. So, you know, ne next time for sure. Next time. This coming week, Tekken 8 talking about Eddie Gordo trailer might happen. I mean, yeah, we're, we're just waiting for that, you know. So we'll see what happens. You know, we all know Eddie Gordo is going to be out. We'll just wait for a trailer and then we'll see when uh, he gets in. As of right now, you know, we all know that he's there, so we just we just wait. I mean, Eddie's not a character that I use. That's why I'm not too particular on him, you know. Like, if he's in the game, he's in the game, you know? Great. Oh, my gosh. Don't, don't be lagging on me, too, now, man. Crap. Good luck in KL. Thanks, Jello.
Yeah, wait for another DLC character teaser for summer on that Tekken 8 talk. Uh, no, I, I just play the game. I don't wait for DLCs, um, John, because that's not the point of the game. The point of the game is not waiting for which character is going to be in the game. The point of the games are to play the games. That's why you don't hear me talking about like future stuff in games because I just play them. I don't talk about like speculations, predictions, and all that. I'm I'm not a I'm not a speculation or prediction channel. I'm a I'm a gameplay channel. I play the games. Son of a gun. Ah, it's an overhead. Like with Mortal Kombat, people are talking about who's going to be the next characters for like uh, Combat Pack 2. Well, for me, I'm just playing, you know, the game, game, trying to get Scorpion to Elder God. That's what I do on my channel. I, I play games. I don't talk about games. I play them. I thought Wired uh, posts uh, to prevent... Uh, from having lag? I thought so too, Jell. I mean, it, it could just be one of those days. I really don't know why. There could be a lot of reasons why. I'm sure you have a lot of Resonic the, for nave preparation. If you're talking about like, um, if you're talking about uh, Fragile Resin, uh, yeah, we're, we're saving up Fragile Resin from the Battle Pass because we do want to be able to, you know, um, get uh, fight the Arlequino boss fight, you know, or the the you know the Ascension boss, you know, all in day one. So we are saving resin for that. Man, that reach is ridiculous. How do I not anti-air that? Do I have to just do back two, or do I have to really just up block that? Wow. Okay. I should have just done like, you know, down one into like four or three or something. This is beneath me. Round two. Fight. You've gotta be joking me. Ah. Okay. Man! Sure, I'll take it. Oh my god. Of course. Hey, what's up, Marin? Welcome to the stream, my ninja. I'm so happy for having a wired connection. Same here, Jello. Same here. Damn. Oh well. Brought me back to Grandmaster. It's fine. That's how it is. Play soon. Yeah, we definitely gotta play Martin since now the crossplay is available now. In fact, why don't you add me already? Um, here, here you can check my um. Well, I I'll just flash it here on YouTube. You can rewind it if you need to. What you want to do is yeah, go social. There's my WB name there at the bottom. Uh, Nick Nitro, capital N I K K, capital N I T R O, no spaces. Just put that as your WB name. Add me to the friend. Send me a friend request, and then I'll accept you. And then we can play. You know, anytime you want. Besides that, let's get back to Demigod. I hate the Sindel scream effect. I, I hate her hair combo. That's what I hate. Because the scream effect, that can't... It doesn't um, stun you until like it's confirmed, you know. I can really tell the difference between Wi-Fi and wired connection. I know, right, Jello? There's a huge difference. Wired connection is just the way to go. I'll add you up soon. No problem, Martin. No problem. Him again, we're fighting against the same people over and over. Yo, Hancho, welcome to the stream, my ninja. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. By the way, Hancho, I want to say congrats on the baby, man. You're a daddy, Hancho. How's the, how's the fam bam going for you, man? Also, congratulations to the Chiefs for winning the Super Bowl a second time, man. 
Also, I saw that you were in the parade for the for the the Chiefs after they won the Super Bowl. Must have been cool stuff, man. There we go. Let's go. I got I got my son in two rings. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Damn! I'm I'm dead in this round. Mr. Goodies, welcome to the stream, my ninja. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'll take it. Damn, that duck was clean. Ah, that's nasty. Can I not anti air that? I haven't played MK1 like since uh, Tekken came out. Tekken is my game. Dude, Tekken is a, definitely a fun game, man. 100% agree with you there. I, I love Tekken 8. Tekken 8 is such a good game right now. But yeah, dude, I definitely should play some as well, Hanjo. It's fine. Shoosh, shoosh, shoosh. Yes! I gave Grand Blue Van Fantasy Versus a chance and I enjoyed it. New Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is a great game, man. Yep, that's the mix up right there. That was a miss input. Oh well. It's like most definitely we're sure gonna have some games in. Definitely, man. Just wanted to stop by, say what's up. Just got off a 12-hour shift. About to do you take care, man. Get some rest, man. Thanks for stopping by. Stay awesome, my ninja. I saw another character trailer named Vayne. Yeah, Vayne's gonna be the next new character for Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. Yeah, Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising is shaping up to be a really big game. Ouch. Oh, you've got to be joking me, man. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. Oh, oh, ah, I'm so bad. Oh my god, really? Oh, of course. Die with dignity. Round two. Fight. That string is just way too fast. I can't, um, I can't micro duck it. Oh my god, that kick is so cancerous. <gasps> I didn't answer that. <sighs> it's even picked up afterwards. Finally, I guess correctly. Oh, two combos in a row. It's a 
break. Okay, okay, okay. I can still make this. Yes! Everybody always falls for that. Doesn't matter who you are, you always fall for that. Really? Oh my god, really? That's such the most confirmable string in the entire planet, man. I gotta break it. There's the up block. Yes! Yes! I'll take it! Yes! I'll definitely take it! Yes! Oh, gee. Jeez. Just watch the Vayne trailer. He's amazing with his axe. Yeah, he's definitely got a cool weapon. It's like a, it's like an axe halberd type of you know hybrid. But yeah, Vayne's a cool character. For me, my my mains in that game are Lancelot and Sheese. That's those are my mains. Sheese. Sheese. Sheese slaying Nitro, not cheese. Sheese. Sheese. Yes, we all love Cheese Lady Natura, but I'm talking about Sheesh, the character. Grimnir is also like a, a cool character. I think he's my third favorite character, Grimnir. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, Sheesh, Lancelot, and Grimnir. Those are my uh, characters in uh, in Grand Blue. Then, of course, you know the the waifu of that game. There, every game. Well, not every game, but every, like a majority of the games I play, I I always find someone who's a waifu. Funny enough, in Mortal Kombat, I don't have a waifu, but in Grand Blue, my waifu is Narmaya, Narmeme. Hey, what? You're my waifu, Lady Nitro. <laughs> in IRL, yeah. Lady Nitro's just joking, guys, because we all know Lady Nitro is like surrounded by a plethora of like husbando men, so you know. <laughs> she has no right to say anything. <laughs> she's right now she's surrounded by eight men and it's counting. <laughs> Quick question, what makes Brawlhalla have a high skill level? It's because the movement is fast and uh the 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 system of the game is very, very simple. So because of that, it causes like the game to, you know, be very um like how do I say it? it's like like it's 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 one of those things where it's like because it's such simple gameplay more can be added to it and because more can be added to it it takes skill to execute it's like smash you know how smash is so simple right but because smash is simple you know because yeah because smash is simple but there's so much layers to the game that's why you know it's considered you know hard to play or at least hard to master at a competitive level So imagine Smash Bros, but much, much faster. Wow. I gotta watch I have to actually pay attention because this guy's using Chameleon. And then it's laggy too. And I'm the master of the anti-airs. Anyways, Multiverse makes a comeback. Hope they will come to Asia region. Yeah, I talked about that on the last stream. Multiverse, I'm not excited for that game. I, I played it, you know, when it first came out in beta. I did not have fun with that game. Round 
just as much as I'm not having fun with this guy's lag. You got to be careful with that Kitana fan lift because that's actually very, very punishable. Not by law, Lady Nitro. Okay. Oh, you gotta be joking me with that, man. How did I not anti-air that? How's that not punishable? Good jump. I didn't anti-air that. I should just up block it. Yep. Let's just use no meter this time. Ooh, I saw that. You're dead. Tekken 8 is making the Aftermath Story Expansion DLC. They did say they were making the expansion, but it's not called Aftermath. That's a Mortal Kombat thing. Don't get those two confused, John. Hope we get uh, to know more this week at Tekken 8 Talk. Uh, as I said with me, I don't pay attention to those because I'm just playing the game. I'm not really looking to what the future of Tekken 8 holds because it's right now it's going really good. More stuff is going to come, but it's stuff that actually doesn't really matter to me because as long as I'm still able to play the game, I'm using characters that I like. The future of Tekken 8 is just bonus to me now. So that's why I'm not waiting for all those talks that you keep talking about, John, because it doesn't really matter to me. Wow! No, no damage. I have to really just up block that, don't I? Jump. Wow. Uh, Capcom is in trouble again. What for? They're in trouble for a lot of things. Again, once again, it, that's drama. It, it's not gameplay stuff. So again, most uh, most likely, I'm probably not going to care about that news. Because as long as it doesn't affect the game that I'm playing, then you know, it really doesn't matter. Leaks again for Street Fighter 6. Why would Capcom be in trouble for Street Fighter 6 leaks? Oh my gosh. Oh. That lag. I know the lag is pretty bad right now. Oh my gosh. I couldn't even complete my combo. Oh my gosh, I could have actually converted! He's kicking his router, guys! Wow. Jeez! Oh my god! Could even answer that one! Oh my god, he's kicking his rock. No, he's playing better through the lag right now. Is this guy actually playing better because of the lag? No, not this time. Yeah, he quit. See? He quit. He quit because he knew he was not going to be able to, you know, to not be able to... Uh... You know, he, I don't know. It's like he, he, he was really trying to like, you know, use the lag as the opportunity. Then he realized that maybe I can actually adjust 
maybe I can adapt. I mean, it's a fighting game. You adapt in a fighting game, even if the adaptation is something as stupid as lag. <sighs> but it is what it is. I love the quitality animation. I actually like it too. I like the quitality animation. It's not a jump scare like back in MK11. Those were jump scares. <laughs> I like the different posing that MK1 brings in. Yeah, I, I like the posing too. Yeah, the different poses are cool. I feel like this is just not a good day for Mortal Kombat right now. There's been a lot of lag. It could be on my end this time. It could be the server as well. But like, as of right now, it's it doesn't seem like it's a good day for Mortal Kombat. So like, even though I am streaming right now, guys, and a lot of you are watching right now, a lot of you came to say hi, which by the way, I appreciate it, everybody. I, I really appreciate it, like totally. But like, if it's if the gameplay is just not enjoyable right now, and I'm, I'm not having fun playing, I, I gotta cut the stream short because as much as I am trying to entertain you guys, if I'm not having fun with this, then there's really no point in me playing. We can just we can just try again tomorrow. It's the same guy. See, we're even going against the same people over and over again. Okay, I'll give this one last chance. If the lag is just as bad, fighting the same guy again. Sorry, guys, I got to cut the stream short. With Brawlhalla being similar to Smash, I shouldn't be more liking the gameplay, though. Are they being dummy? Wait, wait, wait. What? Shouldn't be more liking the gameplay. Wait, I, 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 don't, I don't know what, you're what you mean by there, Mr. Goodies. Please elaborate on that. Okay, I gotta watch out for that. Okay, I'm actually gonna lock in a little bit. Okay, it's not lagging this time. So I'm I'm starting to think that maybe he was, you know, he was lagging because he was kicking his router. I need to just up block that now because Scorpion has a Johnny Cage jump three or a jump kick. See, I'm trying to anti air that, but like it's never working until he drops it like that. Weird, you suck when the connection is smooth? Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know what I'm doing right there. I don't wanna know the season two Street Fighter six. Wait, wait, John, you don't wanna know the season two of uh, Street Fighter six, but they're gonna announce it anyway. Are you still not gonna wanna know? I mean, like that kind of doesn't make any sense, John. Like, the, the, the characters are eventually going to be announced anyway, you know? So, leaks are not... It, leaks just mean we're just going to get to know what the stuff is early. That's all it means. My gosh, the double down one. I should just grab that after that. Where's my up block? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I need to start up blocking because that jump kick is killing me, man. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I let that go. With Brawlhalla being similar to Smash Bros, shouldn't more people be liking the gameplay though, or are they being dumb? No, it's because of the art style with um with Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla has very super deformed characters because like big heads, big hands, big feet, very small bodies. Yeah, as Lady and I just say, they look like midgets or they look like, you know, Smurfs. So the art style doesn't look good. That's why Brawlhalla, you know, um, it, it doesn't look good to watch, actually, to be honest. And the, the camera angles, you know, the zooming in, zooming out, how the art style is, it not people, they don't like it on the eyes. That's what people are saying. That's why for me, yeah, it may not be good on the eyes, but the gameplay is phenomenal. But again, gameplay is not what everybody's looking for. Which is unfortunately what I have to, you know, come to grips with that gameplay. Not everybody's looking for, you know, gameplay. That's why do you think Mortal Kombat is doing so bad right now? Even though the gameplay for Mortal Kombat is phenomenal, it's because of everything else with the game. It's really, really bad. That's punishable. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. Should I just block that? What?
Wait, what? What? Wait, 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 what, 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 what? How did I get hit by a low? Was it because the the fire was still hurting me, so therefore the jump kick connected? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Whatever it is. Other characters, I just wait and see their announcements. They're going to come eventually, John, whether it's by leaks or regular announcements. So there's really... Don't, don't, don't stress too much about it, you know? Come on! There's the up block I'm looking for. See, that's all it is. It's just systematic. Oh my god. Okay. I hear a lot that gameplay is bad, though I think I'm listening to the wrong people. Who are you listening to? That's my question. He's gonna break, but I'm not gonna let him because I'm just gonna throw him instead. <laughs> okay, he's gonna throw me instead. All right, all right, I'll, I'll take that. He's gonna do the throwing game. I see, I see. That's fine with me, that's fine with me. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> you have no honor. Final round. Fight. Ah, damn it. I should have just like... Because that jump kick is plus 12. Ah, man, I'm getting... Oh my gosh, this is good for me. Oh baby, let's go. Oh, that's good for me. I don't know what he was doing there. Okay. The only characters I hope for for three returns M. Bison, Sakura, and one original member of the Shadow Lu. Okay. Uh, not too sure who that is of the Shadow Lu. The only other character that was in the league was that Vega isn't going to be in the game. I hope Vega's in the game. Vega may not technically be a ninja, but he's an assassin. He's like a ninja. That was a cool scorpion round animation. I know, I like that too. Oh man, I could have actually. That's minus 12. No! There we go. Yep, there we go. Okay. I hate Vega a lot. I always lose to main Vegas back in Street Fighter 5. Oh, so you just hate Vega because you lost him. Okay. Um, it's a valid, at the same time, not a valid reason. Oh my gosh, I I, ant, I, I uh, micro duck, but I wasn't fast enough. Ah, damn it. Okay, okay, I gotta lock in a little bit, guys. I can actually win this. Yes. What? No, that was supposed to punish. Oh my god, wow! 
It's lagging now. It, it's, it's that point, guys. It's not happening again. Where he's about to lose, then it starts lagging like crazy. This guy is absolutely kicking his router. Absolutely. Yeah. You are not ready. Final Over round. This. Fight. Let's do as much damage as we can. Okay, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Come on! Yes! Oh. Eat it! Jeez. Black switcher, I bet. Probably. Definitely probably. Uh, per there's actual there's an actual um, object you can buy called a lag switch where you connect it to your um, your router with into your game. So what you do is that whenever you want to, there's a button that actually will make you involuntarily um, slow down the internet connection. I mean, not involuntarily slow down the internet connection. So you cause the signal to fluctuate, and that's what causes the lag to happen in the game intentionally. Oh, it is cheating. Yeah. Well, because since they can't really like show physical evidence that they are lag switching, it, they you know they don't really do anything about it. So it's just what we have to do. It's like Nick, uh, thoughts on Dragon's Dogma 2? It's a great game. A lot of people are complaining about it, but it's a great game. Well, they're not complaining about the game itself. They're complaining about the microtransactions, which actually are completely stupid. Both the microtransactions and both the people are complaining. Everybody is stupid right now. Luckily, my friend told me not to buy Dragon's Dogma 2 because after day one got microtransaction. John, your friend is not um, well informed because um, the microtransactions are in the game, but you can actually go play through the entire game without any microtransactions, like at all. Like you don't have to, like one bit. You, and the game is absolutely fun. So I'm not saying that the microtransactions are good. No, that's not. That's really greedy practice by Capcom. True. But does it mean you have to buy something in order to play Dragon's Dogma 2? No, you absolutely do not. So both the microtransactions itself are stupid, but everybody who's complaining saying that you have to buy stuff to play the game, they're stupid too. So literally everyone is stupid. That's why I'm saying just play Dragon's Dogma 2. You'll have fun with it, guys. That's all I can say. All right, so earlier the lag was just because of the guy. It was not because of an RN. The guy was literally a lag switcher. So we'll just wait a couple minutes first, guys. So, John, don't listen to your friend. Buy Dragon's Dogma 2. Plus, guys, when you hear news something, whether it's good or bad news, research it. Confirm it. You know, uh, uh, like, you know, actually elaborate on the news itself so that you have a full grasp and understanding of what's going on. Because if you just take things word by ear and say like, oh, my friend said this or he said that, then you don't know the full story. That's why I, I, I knew people were going to be talking about Dragon's Dogma too, but I looked more into it. Yeah, you don't have to buy anything in the game or do any microtransactions to actually play the game properly. You played for the game, you get the full game experience already. And to be honest, all the stuff that you buy in microtransaction, you can literally play it and get that stuff in the game for free. Literally. What what the microtransaction allows you to do, it's for people who don't have time to play it all the time, but they want to catch up or they just want like to have an additional aid or assistance, and then that's when they can buy it. But you can actually still play the game for as it is. Hey, what's up, Darkness? Welcome to stream, my ninja. I'm still in the middle of finishing Dragon's Dogma on my PS3. You keep finishing it, John, and then you're going to love Dragon's Dogma, too. I think the big um, thing I can uh, I don't recall, uh, if I re can recall, is that the first Dragon's Dogma didn't have microtransactions, the sequel going all out 
with it is very surprising for peeps. Yes, it's true. Yeah, because the previous game didn't have microtransactions, the new the microtransactions here definitely is a shock. It's new. But what they're just selling is just extra stuff in the game that you can get yourself if you want to by just grinding the game. But again, all that stuff is literally just extra, like extra resources. That's all it is. That's all the microtransactions are. There, it's nothing else. It's not like, oh, you can. There's a. There's the most powerful weapon in the game, but you can only get it through microtransactions. That's not true. That does not exist in the game, and it's not like that. So that's why I have to tell you guys. You know, the the the, the objective, objectively speaking, you can still play Dragon's Dogma 2 and have fun without doing a single microtransaction, and. Also, the microtransaction thing that Capcom is doing in Dragon's Dogma 2, I don't agree with that practice as well because that's very that's a very greedy practice, you know. But it doesn't hurt the overall gaming experience. People just don't like the fact that there's microtransactions, which that's okay. That's okay to feel that way. I also don't like the microtransactions. But everyone saying don't buy the game because of microtransactions, that's stupid. And to be honest, everyone who's saying that, they don't deserve to play Dragon's Dogma 2. So yeah, like when you hear news guys on anything, look it up yourself, find out for yourself, test it out yourself if you want. Then give your personal, you know, opinions and responses. Don't say the opinions of other people's yeah, don't don't spit out other people's opinions because they're not your opinions okay that's why when people say you know i feel this way i'm like no you don't somebody else just felt that way and you're just spitting it back out i don't like people always peacocking or parroting other people's opinions i want to hear your thoughts your own thinking use your own brain cells Are you gonna drink that lemonade, baby? Okay. I did. Can I have some water, please? Good point. I've been feeling so dumb as of late. Uh, well, I mean, we all feel that way every now and then. I actually thought this was Joker for a second, but I forgot I modded Johnny Cage to be Joker. Well, the uh, the the cut cut, yeah, but see young, no. All right, here we go. Let's use meterless. Oh my god. You gotta do shadow kick. I don't know what he was doing there. No. Love that mix up. I need to just up block Johnny Cage. There it is. See the up block. wrong man why don't you want to come near me ah uh, you tried to do the invincible nut punch I saw that oh my god no lay nitro shush oh my god it's lady gaga He's gonna break. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. Finish. 
Honestly, Nick, villains I hated a lot, but I can only tell you five of them. Lord Zed from Power Rangers, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, Joker from Batman, Shao Kahn from MK, and Bison from Street Fighter. I mean, okay, John, you know, that, like, I, I get, um, I guess I, I don't know what to say. Either I'm sorry or something, because, like, yeah, they're villains. I don't know why you would hate them, though, because for me, like, Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII, yeah, he's a villain. I don't hate him. I think he's one of the coolest villains of all time. Even Lady Niger just said he's cool. So, and Lady Niger just said he's handsome. He has a big sword, okay? That's different, okay? But, like, hating on him, like, there has to be a reason why you hate him, you know? It can't just be, be like, you hate him for, like, no reason. Hey, what's up, Emery? Welcome to the stream, my ninja. That's a good punish. No! Oh my god, that stupid jump kick is a pain in the butt. Thank you, Lady Nitro, for the water. That micro duck was the, the most disgusting thing I've done, guys. I faked him out. He's not watching the meter. Oh, uh, I, I, I have it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's always been in the shadows for Klaus Stripe. I, again, John, what does that have to do with anything about hating or liking a character? We're the audience, and, you know, we are the consumers. You know, we see uh, the protagonist, the antagonist. So what does, you know, uh, the fact that, you know, um, Sephiroth and Cloud's story have to do with you hating Sephiroth? That's my question. For some reason, I always find there's something sad in Mortal Kombat where characters go block for block for block ah like it's like it's like an actual brawl yeah it, it, it's, it's kind of cool to watch that it's like a boxing match and Sean S welcome to the stream my ninja and yes Mr. Goodies I know Lady Nitro is a bit out of pocket with that comment but you know it is what it is uh, about Sephiroth and his big sword I'll I, I know it's true, Lady Nacha. It, it's like, it's one of those things just because it's true doesn't mean you have to say it. You've got to be joking me with that. Of course, the one time he blocks. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh well. Got my eyes on you. Round two. Fight. Ah, how does it feel, Johnny, to have a, a character that you can't anti air because of their jump kick? Oh my gosh, your broomstick kick, though. That's a good answer, to be honest. Broomstick! Wow. 
Oh my god! I should have done a low instead. Okay. That's okay. Switch switch sides. He has no meter. He's gonna jump. Oh my god, yes. You don't know how many times I lost boss battles with him back in Kingdom Hearts 1 and for PS2, PS3, it took me over 25 times to overcome him. John, I know that. I fought Sephiroth as well back in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and I've lost him a bunch of times. It still doesn't change the fact he's a cool character, and like, like I hated fighting him, and you, same thing as well, you hated fighting him, but hating him as a character, again, I need correlation. I need to understand why you hate him as a character, other than the fact that you just couldn't beat him. That's different. Yes, Lady Nature, today is Sunday. Yeah, I will. Ha, I hate that jump kick! Oh, is it? That, <laughs> he can't break. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen, homie? Ah! <laughs> uh, Scorpion can be hella cheap, man. Oh, there goes a rank up. Sorry, guys. I mean. I'm eating pizza. And sleep now, Lady Nitro. I'll sleep with you soon. What time is it? It's only 10? Oh. Well. We can make it a two hour stream. Yeah, I'll, I have 20 more minutes left of the stream, guys. Well, it's still below two hours, but still, guys, you know. We're tired. We had a long weekend, so tomorrow I'll be streaming longer. Don't worry, guys. It's not about the female character getting stabbed. It's his way of playing mind games with you. Back at Final Fantasy VII Remake, play hard mode. I lost him ten times when he breaks my limit break five times. Okay, uh, John... When I never mentioned anything about him stabbing Tifa. Never brought that up. That's, again, that's story-wise. And you uh, mentioning about um, Final Fantasy VII Remake hard mode with Sephiroth. I know that. I played that. Lady Nitro watched me because her father had a hard time, and so he asked me to do it. So I definitely know what boss fight you're talking about. But again, just because a character was hard and difficult to fight... I need to understand what makes you like hate him on a personal level other than the fact that you were having a hard time fighting against him. I had a hard time fighting against Sephiroth. Never made me hate him as a character. Maybe I hated fighting him, but hating me as a character, that's a different story, John. Again, need to need to elaborate on that. Okay. I love the air to airs. Okay. Can you not with that? Like, actually, not with your down threes, homie? Everyone needs to stop jumping, too, against Scorpion. that. Liu Kang Chameleon is such a cancer, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! My, uh, my, um, my micro duck. What? I faked him out. Why did I block? Why did I? Ooh.
No way. I'm dead. One day I will elaborate with you why I hate him so much. Why one day? You can literally just tell me right now. Not now's not the time as I'm saving my energy for this week for work. You telling you telling me explain to me something is going to make you waste a week's worth of energy. I, again, John, you just got to make it make sense, please. I mean, it, it's really not that hard to like say why, why, why you wouldn't like the character. Do you hate the fact that he's crazy? Do you hate the fact that everyone is fantasizing about him? Do you hate the fact that he, what he did to the people at Nibelheim? Do you hate the fact that he's, you know, uh, thinking that he's, you know, the, the owner of the planet when he's really not, you know? That's all you need to know. Just tell me, why do you hate him other than gameplay? Because if you hate a character, like, this is gonna sound really mean guys but if you hate a character just because they were hard to beat in a game I'm sorry you have to just get good then <laughs> because you know a character a character being hard to beat is not the character's fault it's your own fault for not being skilled enough to beat it eventually like Elden Ring Elden Ring was insanely hard one of the most hardest games I've ever played. I got so then against Millennia. Oh, Millennia was the hardest boss I have ever fought in my entire life. I was so angry, and by, I think after 141 attempts, when I finally beat her, I was like, Lady Nightshade heard me, heard me going, "Yes, die, Millennia!" But after all the time, did I end up hating her? Never. Yeah, it, it's fiction. I never hated her. I mean, I hated fighting her. She was hard, but I never hated her as a character. In fact, I thought she was a really well-designed character. Really cool, really cool backstory even. Millennia is a cool character. You know, so the fa so me hating her for like anything other than gameplay, again, I need to, there has to be a reason why. Millennia's water flow dance move is bullcrap. Yeah, it was a it was a cheap move. That move was redonkulous. Like it was an unfair move. I I, I understand that. He didn't want he didn't want me to up block him. The Elden Beast was an asshole. I wasn't gonna lie. Yeah, the Elden Beast even. You know, it's a, that, that was a really, really, you know, annoying boss fight. Yeah. But none of the characters in Elden Ring I ever hated. Ever. Because they were all just fictional characters. You know, there was no reason to actually like, hate them. I hated fighting them, but I never hated them. Oh, he mashing. This homie mashing. What's up, Kenneth Ramos? Welcome to stream, my ninja. After learning how to dodge that water flow dance, it felt really good. I know, right? Once you figure out the way how to beat her, it felt good beating her. I mean, you know, again, the point I'm trying to say is Hating on fictional characters, there has to be a legit reason for it. Like for example, there's a character in Jujutsu Kaisen named Mahito. The stuff that Mahito did in that in the show or in the in the manga, it was atrocious stuff. Now, yes, he's a fictional character, but the the emotions I felt from the stuff that he did, ah, uh, it made me hate the character so much because I have never seen someone so evil, so lacking remorse, you know literally finding joy in causing pain to others you know i hated that character to death but that's 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 only a very one in a few characters that i actually hate raw spear baby Yes. Ah, oh, I love the Hellfire. I love the Hellfire. See the Hellfire? Easy fit 5%. Close out rounds for sure. I 
I heard the DLC is uh, are all gonna be millennia level fights. That, that got me worried. Yeah, they're definitely gonna be millennia level difficulty, and I'm excited for that because it's gonna be hard as hell to fight. Kidorita, welcome to stream, my ninja. Just woke up, gonna get coffee going. Nice, I love coffee. Guys, if you can just see the scene right now, I'm streaming and Lane Nitro is playing Genshin Impact behind me. This is one of the coolest. This is this is relationship goals right here. I personally don't hate any character because all these tropes are here so that you learn from what not to be and what to be. Plus, they're fictional. Exactly. The last p point, Mr. Goodies, that's the perfect point. They're fictional. <sighs> the only two characters I can think of I actually hate are... Yeah, Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen and Dotore from Genshin Impact. I actually hate that character. That guy's actually evil. <laughs> the stuff he's done, man. Oh my gosh, the abandoned hospital in Sumeru. The stuff he's done, man. Oh, you're using Kirara? Because she's already sprinting. An anti era jump kick. How? how? How does he do that? See? There it is. That's what I'm looking for. It's fine. It's fine. How, how did that not anti air him? I don't get it. I'm dead. Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe I won that. Coffee is good, but chai, green, and orange spice teas are really good. I do like tea as well. Please don't mention him again, Nick. We might encounter him sooner or later in versions of Genshin Impact. I hope we do. We need to get our payback with that character. We need to get our plus. It's part of the story. I want to know what happens to Dothra because I don't want it that we just leave, you know, Dothra just like that running amok. Dothra needs to be brought to justice, man. Ooh, yes. Mhm. Mm yeah, give me that break. And that's GG's. Even extremely evil characters have done the most treasured things. I don't mind because it's there for you to learn. I mean, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Again, the only reason why I actually feel like, again, hate towards those characters, it's again because I'm that invested into the story. 
the stories have made me feel emotions. Do I feel this way for almost every character? Not even. I mean, look, the Joker is literally probably the epitome of evil on any sort of fictional work out there. And I don't even hate him because the I've never felt those type of emotions play, uh, playing or uh, reading or watching anything Batman related with the Joker because it's never made me elicit those type of emotions. That's why Joker being the most evil person in the world, I've never felt any hate towards him. The only reason why, again, again, I hate, I, I feel hate towards like, you know, Mahito and uh, Dotore is literally because of the emotions I felt during those parts. I mean, for those of you who watched Jujutsu Kaisen, remember Junpei? Come on, we all thought that he was gonna be a happy member of the crew. Look what happened, he died a horrible death. And that hurt my soul. <laughs> uh, hurricane kicks. There's one more boss in a fighting game. I hate him a lot. That's Geese Howard. What he's done to the people of the South Town. Okay, I mean, I feel you there, John. But again, you, you hate a, quite a lot of fictional characters. But again, as you said, the reason, the story and what they've done. So I, I feel you there. Because I feel that way towards two specific characters. Only two, though. Yes. Oh, it's gonna hurt a lot. No way! He woke up swinging. Oh my god, am I dead? I think I'm dead. <gasps> I'm not. Yes, I'm alive. I blocked that, that's why. There's one more you're gonna hate, and that's the puppeteer for Tui. The marionette? Why would I hate her? Lady Nitro, can you can you think of any reason to hate the marionette? Anything else specific though? Like Dotori levels of like, you know, like vil villainy? Okay, so we don't know anything about uh, about the marionette. So you hear that John? We don't even know anything about her, so I uh, except that she made Catherine, so we need to under we need to elaborate. Why would you hate a character we know nothing about? <laughs> that that one I need a legit reason. Oh no! Oh I did my spear didn't come out! She's ranking as death. What, what do you mean ranking as death, John? Kind of random, but to quote what a great person said to you, what is it that makes a villain into a villain? Is it just because they're villains or is it because there's something more to it? Majority of villains are like that, Mr. Goodies. Joker, no. That guy's just literally just pure chaos. Hey, what, I'm gonna have to watch Batman later. Which movie did you guys like the most? In uh, the Batman movies? Uh, hmm. Good question. I mean, right now, the latest Batman movie, the one with Robert Pattinson, is pretty good. <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, is it? Well, a Joker used to be a normal person, but then when he fell into the chemical vat, it changed him physically and mentally. The whole chemical vat thing, it's just, it changes physio physiologically. 
the thing is with Joker, him being evil, that was still a choice. And he everything he chose was literally within his control. In fact, as they mentioned, when it came to his psychological profile, he's actually one of the most sane people in Arkham Asylum. Why do you think uh, Harley Quinn actually got attracted to him? Because she loves the way how he thinks. He's not like just like, you know, mentally insane. He's actually, you know, has a point. Well, he doesn't actually have a point. He's just pure evil. But, you know, he's not like clinically insane, which is why... Uh, Harley Quinn was so interested in Joker's mind because he's not crazy. That's why Joker is just a guy who's just literally pure evil. That's why the whole chemical vat thing never didn't really change anything other than probably it just showed who Joker really is as a person. Joker's insanity goes back and forth if he's legit insane or actually sane. There's not, there, it's nothing about the whole insane or sane kind of business of Joker. It's just that is Joker good or evil? And he's the definition of evil. That's all Joker is. It's not a thing about crazy or psychotic, like, you know, like uh, being psychotic. It's literally just, he's just an evil person. Never act on your impulses. Very true, very true. Because everything Joker does, it's all criminally calculated very you know very precise i mean the fact that he can outsmart the world's greatest detective numerous times that's how intelligent joker is an intelligent man does not does not show signs of like complete insanity like that unless it's for a specific reason people like the riddler uh dr hugo strange victor freeze they all had their reasons for being villains and being i guess criminally insane Joker absolutely has no reason other than the fact that he's just an absolute being of chaos and evil. If you read the comments, the part where the Batman who laughs, that's where I hate the Joker for making Batman become more villainous. Well, I'm mean, again, you can hate Joker for what he did, but yeah, that's that's how like the Joker, you know, like the Joker that the, the Joker toxin, you know, which is what made Batman to the Batman who laughs, which I did read, John, and I, you know, Funny thing is, what I hated about that comic is that, again, Batman's plot armor, but it is what it is, you know. Like, turning into someone of pure chaos and evil with the with what the Joker toxin did to Batman, it's like, what would happen if the Joker's you know mental state took over Batman? That's the Batman who laughs, and that's how it is. You know, but other than that, you know, the Batman who laughs is one of the coolest characters I've ever seen. That's why I used him as the noob Cybot skin back in Mortal Kombat 11. And Screwhead and Sator, welcome to the stream, my ninjas. Also, despite making bad choices, he ne could have made good choices to avoid becoming the clown. What do you mean avoid becoming the clown? Like, uh, the whole clown spiel with Joker, it's, it's just, you know, because he thinks everything's funny, that's why. It's not because that's his thing like honestly with even without the clown face joker is still the joker he just does that because for him he likes it he likes the whole you know fact of being because a clown is more than just being a fool if you guys actually see the job of a clown clowns are magicians clowns are entertainers clowns you know they're pretty much the ones who run the circus and things like that you know besides the ringleader and whatnot Joker does have mental issues. No, Joker doesn't have mental issues. Joker's just evil. Everything about Joker, he's mentally sane, actually. Joker knows what he's doing. He's very much aware of what he's doing. He just loves what he's doing, and that's what makes him evil. The Batman who last got his multiverse of madness with his own team. Yeah, he did. It's all... It's that's the uh, that's bat that's DC Metal, John. You're talking about DC Metal, where, like, every version of Batman who became evil, like, evil, like, Batman who took the powers of the flash that's the you know that's the red death you know and then um batman having um having uh, uh doomsday cells injecting them that's decimator you know things like that and then there's also the female bruce wayne bryce wayne who became the female aquaman i forgot what her evil name was but that, that's what it is but yeah there was a whole like you know group of like evil batman in the multiverse of course with you know, the Batman who laughs being the leader of, you know, the group of the evil Batman from DC Metal. Killing Joke was a good one, but with Paralyzing Barbara was too difficult to watch. And yeah, that was really, yeah. When, when Joker shot Barbara, yeah, that was just pure evil, man. 
and Joker just had fun. Imagine Joker not only shot Barbara, but took pictures of her afterwards and just laughed about it. That's just evil right there. He knew exactly what he was doing. I play Reptile now, but with Chameleon. Hey, same here, screwhead. Well, I mean, I did play Reptile with Chameleon in the last season, getting him to Elder God. I also played him with Scorpion too, but yeah, Reptile Chameleon, it's a great team. I mean, he could have chose to do something else instead of joining the gang, which caused the events for him to fall into chemical vat. Ah, no, that that person who ever that person who was that before Joker came to be, completely different person. You know, when he was that person before he became the Joker, that's something else. But when he became the Joker, the person he was before, gone. Completely different person. That person does not exist anymore, Mr. Goodies. So, like, yeah, it's true. If that guy made better choices, he could have, you know, not become the Joker. He made those choices. The Joker came to existence. That's just how it is. Sikander said Quan Chi's still bottom one. Sikander also said that Sub Zero and Scorpion are like, you know, well, Sub Zero is still difficult. Scorpion is definitely not broke, so I have to agree with that. But yeah, that's probably the only big thing I don't agree with Sikander is that Quan Chi's still bottom one. I, I've seen him use it, but also Sikander said that Quan Chi has some cheap stuff and has some fair has some unfair crap as well. So he admitted it as well. It's like, like basically what I'm trying to say is that despite these villains being the most evil scum beings ever, the reason in how they got there, there's more to it. Mr. Goodies, true. But the thing is, the other villains, they're keeping to their previous reasons. Like Victor Freeze, it's because it's for his wife who's sick. Bane, it's because he just wants to, you know, live a better life. Uh, Riddler just wants to show everyone that he's smart. Joker, what he was before is gone. So him being Joker, that's a completely different being at, as all. So like his reasonings are all gone completely. The guy who he was before he became Joker, gone, completely gone. That's what that's what makes it different. That's a mid. I forgot he he can just do mids. No, you're not gonna be able to punish me with that. I see what you're doing. It's like with the Fatal Fury City of Wolves is coming, I might want to know how the story is going to turn out. I just wait and see the story trailer. Or play the previous Fate of Fatal Fury games, uh, John. You can do that too. Thoughts on the incoming Janet Cage release? I don't really care much about Janet. So, you know, if people enjoy her, good for them. Me, it's, it's really no different. I'm just more excited to fight against her. So that's what I'm excited for. Ah, he knew. <coughs> Damn it. Oh, it's an OS actually. Oh, that's why he does it. It's an OS. It's a complete OS. See, he... Because he knows that I can anti-air him or up block him, he's just gonna, you know, just like empty jump. So I can just anti-air him. Oh my gosh. Why does this Johnny Cage look like the Joker? Because I modded him to look like the Joker. He can. The one time I did an armor. Oh wow, here it is. He's gonna break, watch. No! Oh. 
Nice. Oh. Ah, that's what happens. You gotta watch out for those who know how to, you know. Who know how to uh, delay wake up. I can't wait for next season so I can play Ermac. Dude, I can't wait for Ermac as well, man. That's gonna be so much fun. I mean, there's Killer Croc, guy who was bullied by everyone due to his appearance, and thus he does horrible things. Same with Mogan Elden Ring. I mean, Killer Croc, that, that's his reasoning. He became Killer Croc because of what he did and all the steroids, you know, all the mutations, what happened. He does that because he has a horrible life. But what he, but Waylon Jones was, you know, Waylon Jones even before Killer Croc. And as Killer Croc right now, he's still Waylon Jones. Unlike Joker, what he was before, he's no longer there anymore. That what, what he was before is dead. Joker is what was born out of that, and that's a completely different character. He's gonna break. Just glad only Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 6 to original characters instead of guest characters. It'll ruin everything on those games. It doesn't ruin everything. And guest characters are okay because remember, Tekken 7 has guest characters. You know, and the, and the game was really, really good. You know, you just have to do guest characters correctly. And Mortal Kombat does not do guest characters correctly. Peacemaker needs a huge nerf. Maybe a light tap on the shoulder, but I don't think Peacemaker needs to be significantly nerfed, to be honest. Watch Mortal Kombat Legacy if you guys get it. I did watch Mortal Kombat Legacy. I, I like it. Damn it. Oh, you did a forward throw. Oh my god. Man, this Johnny's oppressive, man. Okay. Indeed, Nick, it's like no one wants to be completely evil at first, but then things happen where people go down that road. But no, no, the, the thing is, Mr. Good, see, you're still connecting the character that Joker used to be as he's still there. No, who he used to be is completely gone. Yeah, that's why, you know, like... What, what Joker is, it's because it's a result of not because of his, like, you know, that's, you know, what he chose to be. It's because the accident caused Joker to become born. And so the Joker now just exists. It has nothing to do with what he used to be. Like, at all. I faked him out. Is he? Oh yeah, Mr. Goody's like, when when the character you know, fell. Okay, when the guy who was the previous Red Hood. Let let's be specific. When he fell into that you know, toxic you know waste, you know, when he when he changed physiologically, who he was before, gone, completely gone, like he's no longer existing anymore. What came out of that was the Joker. The Joker became born. And that was the start of the Joker's life. Well, figuratively. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, all the Joker's choices from then on, it's just his person. He's not thinking about his past. He's not thinking about why he became that way in the first place. No, he is now just the clown prince of chaos, just wreaking havoc now. That's all his reasoning is. There is no other reason other than the fact he's just doing it for laughs. There really is nothing much more to it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Would you say the same thing for Batman? Batman is a different form of crazy. In f- oh, yeah, increased crowd damage. Uh-huh. Yeah, give it to Kyle. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Batman actually, to be honest, he's actually the more crazy one because Batman will literally do whatever it takes to stick to his code, even if it means hurting other innocent people. They made a Dragon Ball Fighter Z uh, PS5 version. Uh, no, they didn't. They made a game called Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which is similar to which is similar to um, excuse me, which is similar to the Budokai Tenkaichi games. <coughs> excuse me. That's Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Ah. It's nothing like Dragon Ball Fighters. But yeah, in every iteration, Joker has just always done things for evil. It's never has anything to do with his past anymore. That's it's the reason why Batman has a hard time fighting and catching Joker because he doesn't understand what he's going to do next. Joker is so random. What the hell? <laughs> I know that she's so funny, but what the hell does that have to do with anything? I do, unfortunately. You you did know that they canceled Sunny with a chance and then just made so random an actual show, right? Yeah, so there was a. That's why my my favorite uh, my favorite spiel. Remember the guy who played uh, the Chad Dylan Cooper, the guy who was in the Mackenzie Falls drama. But then when they made so random, one of his favorite is the Voldemort, where he was Voldemort. <laughs> and then I love it how he, how he does. He goes, "Welcome to Voldemort. Do we have all of your shopping?" It's me. <laughs> and then when he saw the cutout of Harry Potter, like you know the the, the wooden cutout, right? When he saw Harry Potter, he was like, Harry Potter! He's like, no, no, sir, it's just a cutout. Oh, okay, it's just a cutout. Silly me, I, I was about to, I want a cutout! <laughs> I, I, was, I was laughing so hard with that one. <laughs> but yeah, like, sorry guys, I, I kind of got sidetracked because Lady Nitro was talking about an old Disney Channel TV show called Sunny with a Chance, which then, you know, got, you know, you know, uh, it's so random and everything like that. You know, this stage. Oh yeah, this stage is a is a mod as well. I take the Terry's version so much. You mean um, Terry McGinnis, as in Batman Beyond? Is that who you're talking about, uh, K- uh, Kidarita? Because I do like Batman Beyond too. too. Terry McGinnis is a good Batman. Yeah. I mean, of course, he did have coaching from Bruce Wayne, but, you know, Batman's still Batman. Batman wouldn't have trusted Terry to become the next Batman if he didn't trust him, you know? <coughs> mm. Anyways, speaking of that, I got uh, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League on my PC. Are you having fun with it, uh, John? Or, uh, no, uh, 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 Darkness, Darkness. Are you having fun with the game? Clayface, Solomon, and Grundy are the ones I pity this story. True, Solomon, Grundy, and Clayface do have sad stories, but you know, still doesn't change the fact that they're villains. Although Solomon Grundy is a bit, you know, on the denser side. I remember when Green Arrow was fighting uh, Solomon Grundy, and then Green Arrow made fun of him. He's saying, huh, slow, stupid, and ugly. And then Solomon Grundy always said, Grundy's not slow. That's all he could say. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hey, what's up, Captain Run Panel? Welcome to the stream, Ninja. Hurricane kicks, expected as much. Ah, freaking chameleon. MK1 mods are going crazy. Oh yeah, MK1 mods are really fun. I love MK1 mods. Mm-hmm. Raw spear, he's gonna break. Yep, there's a break. I'll take it. Oh crap, I'm family dead. Ah, I let it happen. 
can't play the game because they need to fix it. Are you talking about uh, Kill the Justice League, uh, the Suicide Squad game? I mean, it is another de heavily, heavily de heavy demanding game, so you know, could be the PC. The mods, the mods in in what darkness? The mods in Mortal Kombat One. Do you like not like the mods that you see here? What is the stage called again? Do you think it'll come back in the base MK game? It's uh the monastery from Mortal Kombat um uh nine. Oh my God! I can't believe I missed that. Well, not hate, I just don't like it. The, the mods in, in this game, Darkness, is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, MK1, but don't like it. So you don't like the mods. Well, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. But right now, I'm the one playing. These are my mods, so I'm, I'm going to use them. Oh, no, that's the throw punish. It's 176. Good floss block. Can't wait for the ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 skin for Reptile. Same here, man. Don't be sorry. Well, I'm not really, really sorry, Darkest. I mean, I'm just sorry you don't like them, but I'm not sorry that I'm playing the mods. I can't tell if the chemical vat legit changes his entire being or if he's the same dude that just becomes calculating evil. The sources change so much. Well, like, okay, Mr. Goodies, what I'm saying here is that, see, when it changes personality, you know, what I mean by he's no longer the person he was before, because the thing is, if he was still the same person before, everything that, you know, he, the Joker became after he, the accident, you know, it's so different from his previous life. Because you saw his previous life, he definitely was not, he does not act that way in his previous life because that's really what he is as a person before. The fact he's so different now, it means that, you know, when the Joker came to be, he's really a different person now. Wow. All right. Oh, wow. I mean, it's fine if you like them. Of course it's fine if I like them, Darkness. Sorry, Darkness, but like you're saying such obvious things. Like, of course, I like the mods. That's why I put them in. And if you don't like them, I don't give a damn because this is what I like. That's why you mentioning you don't like them, it's, that's why I'm saying who cares, you know, right now. That's why all I can say is, I, that's why all I can say is I'm sorry you don't like them, but I will still play the mods because I like them. Take it. Uh, six Arakin uh, playing Ninja Killer. Yeah, I actually saw that. Like, Ninja Killer just destroyed him 15, 15 0. Like, it was no contest. 
Wow, that micro duck. I saw that micro duck. Oh no, am I dead? I don't want to be dead. Now, Six Arkin is literally like a man who's just living in an utter delusion. Like, very utter delusion. You don't have to give a damn. It's your stream, your mods, you do whatever you want. I know, dog. I know it's my stream. I know I do whatever I want. It's just, why do you have to mention that you don't like him? This is my stream. That's all I'm getting at. You, you say something, and I reply to it. That's how it works, darkness. Did you get the Molina skin? No, I don't like the Molina skin. That's why I didn't get it. God. What's up, Gabriel? Welcome to the stream, my ninja. Six Arakin is in his 30s. He's 38 to be precise. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh well, that's what it is. I got hit by the Molina. Oh well. Bro, I fought a toxic girl. She was talking crazy, so I reported it on WB. She was saying racist stuff. I'm sorry to hear that, uh, screwhead. And I'm sorry to hear that you fought, you know, a toxic player. It happens. I mean, you always got to expect that when you go into Mortal Kombat, Combat League, expect people to, you know, you know, like, be toxic, you know? If you go into this game knowing people are going to be toxic, you know, it's not going to hurt as bad. I swear if I don't get the skin, I'm going to be pissed. Well, Darkness, all you have to do is just play Invasions. Play Invasions, you'll get the skin. It's not that complicated. <laughs> it's not like, you know, Combat League where, you know, you're going to fight against good players. You're literally just fighting it, fighting against the AI. I don't even play Combat League that much because I'm be on a losing streak. Well, Darkness, that's not how you get the skin. You get the skin for playing Invasions. I mean, you can get the Molina version of the Combat League version of the Molina skin, which I do have, but the better skin is from Invasions, which you all do. You're getting the one through ranked. Oh, you're getting the um, Combat League version of the Molina skin. I see, Darkness. Oh. Well, then it should have been obvious I have it. I'm already in Demigod. I got that skin like a long time ago. The one that's the better skin is the um, is the um, Invasions version of it. Well done, Nick. Always nice to see Scorpion die. Captain Rampana, I'm the one using Scorpion. You, why would you, you would not catch me dead using Liu Kang. <laughs> Nice. I think Captain Rumpan is a troll. No, Gabriel, Captain Rumpan is actually a longtime uh, follower. You know, he just doesn't like Scorpion. That's that's his personal thing. Which I've, I've always understood why. And I actually know why. Yep. Oh, 
Oh man, am I dead? Damn, that's my own fault for trying to do the the uh, hellfire. Yeah, he got me. I'm halfway through Grandmaster getting close to Demigod. Nice. They always seem to, you know, seem to always not be blocking after being hit by Tremor. Okay. Got it, Nick. Thank you for the discussion. I hope I don't sound too stuck in my ways by get where you're coming from. No, you didn't sound stuck in your ways. You were just asking for clarification. And I'm trying to clarify with you while at the same time trying to, you know, go against these sweaty players. You know, so it's, it's all good, man. You're definitely all good. No need to apologize. Wow, he actually went through with the string. Boom. Thank you, Tremor. I'm listening to people beefing on MK1. Not everybody beefs on MK1, man. Oh, down one into uh into um ice clone. Good on you, man. Good on you. He didn't uh Wow, you lucky son of a gun. Well, I could have punished him for that, actually. Yes, there we go. Goodbye, Serena. Ooh. Yes. Yes. I'll just do this. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Sub Zero still low tier. I th I think Sub Zero still deserves to be still called low tier. I don't think he's the worst character in the game, but I do think Sub-Zero is definitely still low tier. In every MK movie, every time I watch Scorpion's family die, it always leaves a grin on my face. <laughs> no, no, the reason why he hates Scorpion is because he got scared of the one Mortal Kombat movie back in 1998. Or no, 1995, where, you know, Scorpion's, you know, pulled his face away and there's the skull. He got scared with that when he was a kid. That's why he hates, uh, hates Scorpion. He got jump scared by him. <laughs> Wow, he up blocked me. Oh, that's punishable. That's punishable beyond all reason. And as Lady Nitro said, punishable by law. Okay. I love Melina on 300 ping. No, I, I feel you there, man. I need to stop trying to, you know, uh, anti-air that. Just up block it instead. Nobody blocks that for some reason. Ooh, it's the overhead low. There we go. Oh no. That's unfortunate. What'd you say, Lady Nitro? Oh. <laughs> the London look. I can't believe he has the London look. I can't believe Kazuha doesn't take care of his teeth. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ah, Lady Nitro! <laughs> Can't you do it with perfect teeth? <laughs> yeah, you can. I do it all the time back in elementary. That face plan from Spear is so satisfying. I know, right? <laughs> it's really cool. Ooh. Watch this, watch this. Oh! Ah. And then watch this. <laughs> Alright. No disrespect, but that's got to be the dumbest reason to have an undying hatred for over a character and constantly bashing them over something that happened a long time ago in a non-canon movie of all things. No, 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 no. Gabriel, the thing is, it's nothing, it has nothing to do with the story. It's, he got jump scared. That actually happened to him, like, in real life. He got scared. He got nightmares from uh, the um, scorpion showing his, you know, skull face. That's why he hates him. It's because he got scared, which for me, that's a legitimate reason. A character scared you. I remember when I was a kid, I had nightmares of the Crypt Keeper, and that scared me, and I hate the Crypt Keeper for that. So he got, he got legitimately scared. So that's why that's a legitimate reason to hate the character. Not because of anything story-wise, it's because of the effect it had on him as a child. I got something interesting to ask you. I asked all my friends this question. Okay, uh, tell me what it is, uh, Darkness. Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, that's a good show, right? Tales from the Crypt. But Mr. Goodies, because I was traumatized as a little kid of it, I got scared of him. I got scared of Chucky. Dude, I know a lot of people who got scared of Chucky the doll. I remember the grudge terrified me too. Yeah, Juwan is definitely... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I remember Lady Nitro has nightmares of that character from Courage of Calorie Dog that was said Return the slab. Yeah, Lady Nitro got terrified of that. A lot of people got terrified of that thing, you know? I got scared by E.T. Hey, I can feel you, man. I mean, come on. Even though E.T. was a cute little alien, come on. It's an alien. You know, who's not going to be scared by an extraterrestrial, which is actually what E.T. stands for? There more Scorpion. Where are you going? Oh, he didn't get faked out. Freaking a striker, man. Micro ducks. He's going to break. He's not going to break. Wow. If you had a twin and chose on rather to be the ugly one or the dumb one, what would you to choose? Uh, to be honest, I'd rather be the ugly one. Because ugly, you can fix that. Dumb, you can't fix dumb. It is a hall pass, but still, I'd, I'd rather be someone call me ugly than, you know, stupid, you know? Because as I said, you know, ugly can be fixed. I mean, that's, you know, the, the smart people are the ones who created, you know, cosmetology, you know? So, yeah, I'd rather be 
the ugly one than the dumb one. No, that's not what that is. <laughs> Oh my god, Striker, man. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn. Too slow, too weak, too easy. Brutality. Is it wait, Omni is the Omni Man DLC? Yeah, Omni Man's DLC, Captain. King Ramses is the man. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like the man in the gauze, the man in the gauze. He's no Santa Claus. <laughs> I love Omni Man's throws in this game. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Man, I'd rather be dumb. You'd rather be dumb, Darkness? Remember, ugly can be fixed. Dumb cannot be fixed. Re remember, there's something called plastic surgery, you know? It literally fixes ugly. There's no such thing as dumb surgery. <laughs> Did you just say when you're just dumb you can study, but you're dumb! <laughs> Dumb can kind of be fixed by going to school. No, that's the thing darkness. You're, you're dumb. When you're dumb, no matter how much you go to school, you won't be able to understand what you're learning because you're dumb! Dumb and ignorant are different. Because when we when we talk about dumb, we think we're talking about cognitive function, meaning how well can you think, how well can you comprehend things. If you go to school while being dumb, you're not going to be able to comprehend anything. You are going to be at school for a very long time. Ooh, that was a nasty micro duck. joking are you now darkness plastic surgery isn't gonna guarantee to fix ugly sometimes it can make you look even worse than before uh, unfortunately over time true yes it's true like like um plastic surgery is just like i guess a temporary fix to the ugly but at least there's a solution you know for the ugly unlike dumb there is no solution for that You just beat a good reptile. Oh, congratulations, man. Reptile is definitely a tough character to, you know, fight against. Oh no. I'll take it. I hate that so much. Oh wow. I should have micro ducked that. Damn, I got chipped out. I will grind this world to dust. Round two. Fight. Oh, wow.
It's like, but even if I was dumb, at least I'll have a lot of girlfriends not to flex. You really think girls like stupid guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, darkness. Trust me, girls does, don't like guys who are dumb. They do not because girls have said that if a guy is no dumb, it's like talking to a little baby, which girls don't like to talk to man children. I, I can I can literally speak from multiple experiences of the past when girls like tell like what they don't like about a guy They say when he's dumb or he's stupid. They don't like that at all. They do not like stupid guys Oh my gosh I'll choose to be ugly. Same here, Sato. I choose to be ugly. And to be honest, I kind of was actually, you know, growing up. But then, you know, I started dressing better. I took care of myself more. I started working out. Because I was already late in Nitro. Oh, Nick, are you going to get the Princess Peach Showtime? I probably am not. How did we get here? Because uh, um, Darkness asked me if I would rather be dumb or ugly. Girls kind of want both handsome and smart. No, saw so that's actually kind of They want both handsome and smart, you know? And have money. That's what Lady Natcha just said. <laughs> But trust me, a mo majority of the time I've seen girls end up with ugly guys. A lot of times I've seen girls dump stupid guys. A lot of times. Maybe he's not talking about the stupid kind of dumb. Maybe he's talking about the kind of dumb where you can't talk, you know, that kind of dumb. That's not really like dumb dumb like not being able to talk. It's just it's more social skills, you know, it's not necessarily dumb I mean, I've seen dumb people like straight up talk all the time, you know Sometimes even the dumbest people are the ones who talk the most What? How did that not grab him? Well, that's the only problem about me. I don't have money. Well, you get money by getting a job, Darkness, which you will get when you're older. I remember me, the first time I got a job, I was 16. So you're not even 16 yet, Darkness. Job! Job, Lady Nacho! Job!
Having a lot of money does not automatically make you intelligent. Well, it's not really having money makes you intelligent. It's you have to be intelligent to make money. That's that's kind of what it is. Striker, man. Is that plus? It's not going to kill him, but at least, you know, it will do a lot of damage. Maybe it might kill him. I don't know. It does not. Yes. Man, you guys are really flooding the chat. I, I I can't read all of it. I'm so sorry, guys. But I I appreciate everybody's you no know, uh, being active in the chat, which I thank you guys for that. And also, you know, talking with each other. I should have just done a down two whenever he does that. What? How did that not punish? Wow. Oh, that's it. I'm in two people's chat right now. Damn, saw you a social man. Don't forget to like the video. I mean, if you guys want to, go ahead, you know. But as Mr. Goody said, if you want to, you know, you can like the video. <laughs> Slaying the pink, but not the ping, not today. <laughs> I feel you, Kid Kidarita. Wow. Oh no! Crap. Okay, it's probably gonna do wake up. Ooh, he's gonna break 100%. <laughs> Round two. Hell, if you have a lot of money, you can just buy intelligent people. Actually, that's one of the smartest things you can do. You you hire people who are smart. That's actually a very good thing to do. Oh my god. Break. Damn. Damn. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, here we go. I'm going to keep my meter though. hurts 
That's it. GG's. And he quit. Yep. Saw that coming. It's because he thinks I'm going to teabag him, that's why. That's why all these toxic players, they always quit because they think I'm going to teabag him because they teabag me. They don't know me, man. They don't know me. Nick, which Omni Man is, uh, color scheme is your favorite here? It's the Invincible look, right? You're correct, Mr. Goodies. I do like the Invincible look the best. You know me very well. It's like, Nick, you forgot to read the upper part. I'm so sorry, Captain. There is a lot of chats happening. <laughs> Having a lot of money doesn't make you intelligent, but you can use the money to learn to be intelligent. Okay. Intelligence, it's how you are when you're born. Knowledgeable is something that you can be with, you know, money and learning. When you learn, you become educated. Not intelligent, educated. That's different, guys. Educated means that you were taught, you know, learned. You, you were schooled, you know, you learn things you didn't know before that you know now. That's educated. Intelligence is your level of being able to understand uh, and comprehend things. It's your cognitive function. That's determined from how you're born, okay? If there are people who are born intelligent, people who are not born intelligent. Remember, you don't have to be smart to do smart things. You get what I'm saying, guys? That's why the whole... Hi, if you're not intelligent, you can hire people who are intelligent to help you out. You know, that, that's what I mean, guys. So intelligence is something that you shouldn't strive for because you can never strive for intelligence. You strive for excellence. You strive for knowledge, education. That's why I say stay in school, guys. School's important. You know, if because if you're because whether you're dumb or intelligent if you don't go to school that's a just a dumb move overall teabag during a brutality I can't do that I hate Omni Man so they get me in the corner I can't do an arm move to get out because almost everything he does breaks armor it's very true actually no worries in posting what you said again back at the start of the chat here yeah yeah that, that, Mr. Goodies is correct. If I didn't read your posts earlier, you can post it again so I can read it again. It's okay, guys. I will let you know if I saw it already. If I didn't see it already, most likely I didn't read it out loud. Okay. Uh, I feel like hiring smart people is too smart of a move to think for dumb people. Well, again, dumb people... Remember, you don't have to be smart to do smart moves. The thing is, dumb people can at, at least know, if a dumb person knows that they're dumb, that's a first step already. So when they hire people who are smarter than them, it's a smart move. It doesn't change the fact that they're dumb, but at least what they did was a smart thing. I wasn't born intelligent, but I'm still A's and B's. If I had parents who were teachers, I'll definitely be straight A's. You know, that, again, saw that's true. You know, you can definitely be, do good in school without being intelligent. Depends how dumb they are. Well, Mr. Goodies, and I have to admit, it also still depends how dumb you are. I'm thinking donkey dumb here. Ah, okay, yeah, donkey dumb is a little different. That's more of like, doy. You know, that's a different kind of dumb. But yeah, guys, remember, don't strive to be intelligent. Strive to be educated. Strive to be knowledgeable. Learn new things that you didn't know before. That's what you are supposed to do. Because nobody in this life knows everything. Not even intelligent people know everything. You know, that's why intelligent people, what they do is even learn more. That's why they go to grad school or things like that or get their master's degree because, you know, they know that, hey, I'm intelligent. I can comprehend this. Let me learn more. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to strive to be educated. And as I said, again, I know I sound like a broken record, but, you know, stay in school, guys. School is where you learn everything. Well, not everything, just a good portion of stuff, but like school, school's taught me how to read, write, cultural history, cultural, you know, uh, appro not a cultural appreciation, not appropriation. That's a, that's a, that's a, you know, that's a snowflake thing. Um, yeah, cultural appreciation, arts, music, 
uh, uh, what else? Social skills, mechanical skills, um, a lot of math, a, a lot of calculations. It's actually made me play video games better. You know, school taught me a lot of things. Then, of course, you learn the remainder of your stuff outside of school, you know, but that's a different story. School, you will learn your basics literally in school. So that's why, guys, stay in school. People see money as money, but my dad taught me a long time ago to see money as a resource. This is why it aids you a lot if uh, you have a lot of money. You can buy intelligent people to help you. That's actually true, Captain. Money is a resource. You know, my money is still money, but it, it's used as a resource, which is that's a very good way to look at it. Money is a resource. I mean, it, that's by definition. It, it still is. It's a monetary of exchange, you know, of goods and services. Yeah, see, Lay Nitro, I listen to econ class. <laughs> Lay Nitro is ignoring me now. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, guys, um, yeah, I think I got to call it a stream there, you know. Yeah, it's already been three hours, actually. I actually streamed an hour longer than I was supposed to. Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll let you guys know ahead of time if there's a Nick versus Ninjas, but for now, guys, um, yeah, it's most likely tomorrow will be another Combat League stream. As you can see, I don't like to play Combat League during this time because, look, I've been streaming for three hours. I got so so uh very little progress <laughs> but it is what it is progress is all progress anyways hope you all enjoy guys thank you to all members of nitro ninjas this is your grandmaster nick nitro stay awesome my ninjas